Turtles are amazing creatures for many reasons. They've been swimming the oceans for over 150 million years since dinosaurs roamed the earth. Females swim thousands of kilometers to return to the specific beach where they were born to lay their own eggs. And after mating, females store sperm and fertilize their own eggs when they're good and ready. And the turtles you encounter when swimming in the ocean are serious survivors. Green turtles lay approximately 110 eggs per clutch, several times per breeding season. And due to predation and other threats, only about one in a thousand hatchlings will live long enough to return to the island in 30 years. Not great odds. Making the prospect of a long life even more dubious is the fact that some hatchlings don't even make it out of the nest. On Lady Elliot Island, a coral key in the southernmost Great Barrier Reef, hatchlings spend about a week digging their way out, but some in nearly every nest become trapped beneath pieces of coral. They can survive there for a week in the sun and up to four weeks in the shade, but after that, they die without ever embracing the water. Thankfully, the Lady Elliot hatchlings have their own personal turtle angel, John Meach, a park ranger with over 30 years experience working with these endangered species. Most people aren't permitted to touch nesting turtles, nests, or hatchlings, but John has a permit from the Australian government to work on and handle marine turtles, and he visits a couple times per month during hatchling season to rescue those that are trapped. First, he walks around the island, looking for nests where all other hatchlings have emerged. And yet there's a compression that's that deep compared with the level of the sand, and the only way it could ever get like that without a build-up of sand around it, meaning a dirt or a crab had scratched it out, is that it has collapsed. Ah. Upon locating these nests, he dons knee pads, kneels on the sand, and starts digging. Well, I've made a mistake, we'll move on to the next site. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a green. Yep. Now they're in pretty good sand here, so the chances are I'll dig right down to the egg and there won't be another single hatchling, okay? So it amuses me that they can get enough oxygen. Uh, they have the capability of breathing through the crystals of the sand, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's another one. John tells us that the majority of Lady Elliot's hatchlings are male due to the cool 25 to 27 degree white sand. Fortunately, only a couple little guys were trapped in this first nest. However, the next nest has quite a few more. Talking about there we are. Yeah. Underneath that. Unbelievable. Underneath that. And how many I tag along with John to one more nest, but it's older and doesn't yield happy results. The hatchlings John did rescue today will spend the rest of the afternoon in a cool, dark place. Then, come nightfall, he'll take these eager swimmers to a beach away from the resort's lighting, and guests will observe as they scamper down the beach towards their ocean home. We don't know whether any will survive to adulthood, but thanks to John, at least they'll have a chance.